What is up guys? Welcome to another skateboarding trick tip tutorial. Today we're going to be learning the backside 180. The backside 180 is honestly one of my favorite tricks. When I was first learning it, it was really difficult, but as I started doing it more and more, it started to become easier than even frontside 180. And frontside 180 was definitely one of the first tricks I learned. I don't know, nowadays backside 180 is just my go-to trick. It's literally the first trick I do every time I sit up on a skateboard, even before just like a normal ollie. It just feels good. Before we get started, let's take a look at the foot positioning. So I just like to have basically normal ollie foot positioning, but I usually have my foot more like in the center of the tail rather than in the tip. I feel like it gives me more height and a better pop so I can slide better and have a lot more control. But you could also put your foot like somewhere over here to compensate if your foot like slips during the spin. It really just depends on you because everyone ollies differently and backside 180 it's just like I don't know. It's it's worth one of those tricks. Once you figure it out, you figure it out, but it just takes time to learn and then you can kind of figure out your own foot positioning from there. So try those foot positionings and if they don't work, just experiment because not everything's going to work the same for everyone else. My switch backside 180 foot positioning is different pretty much every time I do it because I always have to compensate for something different every time I skateboard because it's never the same. I don't have switch backside 180s like consistent. It's weird. To begin learning this trick, I'd recommend you just have all down and maybe like half cab because I think half cabs way easier than backside 180 nollie half cab I am completely trash at and I'm pretty bad at switch back 180 as well But I don't know, it just depends what kind of person you are because like I said when I was first learning this trick, it was like difficult, but now it's my best trick I can do, so I don't know. It's gonna be kind of biased towards me. I think probably one of the best ways to get used to doing this trick is just learn how to do like a backside power slide. Because you don't have to pop your tail, but it's gonna get you used to just turning backside and that's honestly the hardest part about the trick is turning backside and also the ollie if you're not that good at ollieing but if you're all right at ollieing this trick should not be that hard you just need to get used to turning backside if you're not used to it I definitely understand how difficult it is it, it's taken me a while to learn switch backside 180 and I'm still awful at it You've seen the example, so you obviously can tell. Like, it's it's not that easy, but once you learn it, it's so easy. I, I don't know. Another key to learning this trick, I would also recommend you learning how to switch Tic Tac. I feel like if you Tic Tac switch, if you come up short on the 180, you should be able to put more weight on your front foot when you land, and then you should be able to just like bring it around even if you come up short. I do that quite a bit, and honestly it feels really good when you do it that way. Doing the whole thing in the air is awesome as well. That was the biggest problem for me though, is always coming up short. Even learning switch ones, I still always come up short, but you can also just try winding up your shoulders more. When I do switch back 180s, I literally just wind my shoulders and pop and hope it works because I'm not that good at like switch ollies or anything. I'm really good at switch front 180 for some reason, but switch back 180 and switch ollie, I'm just like, it's so weird. So I just wind my shoulders and ollie. It usually works out. When I come up short, of course I can pivot around because that's my main foot. I don't know, just regular back 180 is so much easier for me. My final tip for the backside 180 is always stay centered over your board. When you pop the ollie, you should be able to land in the same spot you popped your ollie. I mean, I'm sure you're going to go to the side a little bit, but you shouldn't be going too far the way you're turning. Say if I pop like right here, I shouldn't be like over here when I land the trick. It doesn't work that way. If you're trying it off a gap or something, you're not gonna land it like that. You need to be able to stay centered over your board so you can land centered and 
everything should be all good. But I hope this trick tip helped you guys. I'm sorry if this trick tip wasn't as detailed as my other one. Backside 180, like I said, is literally my best trick, so it's really hard to explain like a trick I do all the time. But I'm basing it off of how I learned it switch, and that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, you know, leave it in a comment below. I can try to answer it and give you guys some advice. Really, this trick is just a lot of practice. Because like I said, when I was first learning it, I was not that good at it. And now it's literally my best trick. I can do pretty much all the backside tricks. I can do backside flip, backside big spin, big flip. I can even do backside 360s, but they're kind of hard. And it's not necessarily the same thing as the 180. But I feel like all the backside tricks are easier for me and I know all the frontside tricks are easier for other people so it's just like it just depends how you came up skating and stuff like that but I hope this trick tip helps you guys again like comment subscribe let me know in a comment below if you guys have any questions and I'll see you guys in the next video peace out homies Before we end this video for good, I got a little bonus tip for everyone out there. Every time you land on the skateboard, be sure to bend your knees. If you have your knees too straight, you're basically just going to bounce off the skateboard and you're not going to land anything. If you bend your knees, even if you're going to fall, you can literally like bend your knees to the fall and it's not even going to hurt. But you have the chance of actually landing the trick. Like when I did the 180 off the little curb over there. I just threw it and I bent my knees and somehow I rolled away. I literally thought I was just going to fall, but it just worked out. So I hope uh, this trick tip helped you guys again. Like, comment, subscribe, homies. Peace.